Have you got to a place in your writing where you feel like it has to be a certain way in order to find an agent or get a publisher or for your readers to enjoy it and therefore you're not enjoying it and you don't feel that you're really exploring your creativity through your writing? If so, then this video is for you. If you're thinking that your content has to be a certain way, but you don't know what that way is, and you're feeling really, really stuck, this is a sign that your criteria is based on something out there. And you don't know what that is because it's out there and it's not inside you. So if that's what you're going through, then you have come to the right place because all of the content on this channel is designed to help you unleash your creativity. So if you like the sound of that, then you might wanna hit subscribe. So what do we do? What do we do when we're in this place? We've got this, we've got this idea that things have to be a certain way and it's all out there and we don't know what those rules are. So what we need to do is to start to create criteria that we know about. So criteria that suits us, that works for us. So for example, you might be thinking about an agent. You might be thinking, oh, it's got to be a certain way in order for me to find an agent. So start to do some research. It might be that you start to research agents and you think, oh, well, the ones that I'm really interested in, they're always looking for voice. So how can you then make that criteria in here rather than out there? So you start to get really clear about your own voice. What can be really useful here is to make a list of words that you think define your voice. So it might be that you say humorous or dark or intimate or challenging. And then you've got criteria that define your voice and you can start to explore that in your writing rather than simply thinking agents think that voice is really important. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that means. You've brought it within you and you started to connect to the words that you know define your own voice. It might be that you start to create criteria based on your readership. You might reach out to readers, you might ask readers what they enjoy, and they might say things like, oh, I love it when writing transports me to another place. And so again, you start to come within and you start to think, how can I make that criteria or how can I make that certain way something that's coming from inside me? And so again, you start to explore in your writing, how would my writing take someone to another place? You're writing and you're thinking, where is this taking me? Where might this take my reader? And so again, that certain way has come within because you've got really clear about it. That certain way is about transporting your reader. It might be that you do some research around publishers and you think, oh, I found a couple of independent publishers that I'm really interested in and what they're looking for is a unique story. So again, you want to bring that home. You want to make that certain way really resonate for you. So whilst we might acknowledge that themes are quite universal. So it might be that you're writing a memoir about loss, or it might be that you're writing a memoir about addiction. So you might be thinking, oh no, that theme isn't unique. But you start to inquire and explore in your writing the unique ingredients that you're bringing to that universal theme. So for example, yes, you might be writing a book about loss, but what's unique about the examples that you're making to illustrate that loss. So it might be that no one's actually written a book about what it's like to lose a shoe in a river and to overcome that tragedy. It's like, oh, this is a really unique metaphor to describe loss. So what are your unique ingredients? So once you've done that research and you have found that specific criteria, you can really start to explore that in your writing. You can start to have fun because you're now knowing exactly what it is you're exploring and you can start to really improve. You can start to go deeper with those criteria. You can start to really practice your way. So it's no longer this kind of external, it's got to be a certain way. It's like, actually, 
I'm finding my own way. But you also have that confidence that your way is going to resonate with readers or agents or publishers because you've done that initial bout of research that shows you that there is interest in these areas that you're now turning into your own way. So hopefully that one's helped you come from that place of like, I don't know what these rules are, I'm stuck because I don't know how to follow them, to come within and to start to create your own criteria and your own rules that are really gonna help transform your writing and really gonna give you much, much more chance of having success with an agent or a publisher or growing your readership. Hope you found that one useful, guys. And if you're looking for more support, you're looking for more sense of community, we would so love it if you came over to Facebook, joining the Write No Matter What community there. I'm live in the community every week, and I often share pages from my own private writing journal, just to help you know that you are not alone in your creative journey. You'll find a link below, and you'll be able to come join the community straight from that link. Hopefully see you there. In the meantime, take care with your writing, take care with unleashing that creativity. I'll see you on the next video.